angels all come lay us adore him come lay us adore him all come lay us adore in Christ the Lord I will be reading Hebrews 10 5 through 22 Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he saith, Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but a body hast thou prepared me. And burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin thou hast had no pleasure. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book it is written of me to do thy will, O God. Above when he said, Sacrifice and offering and burnt offerings, and offering for sin thou wilt not, neither hast pleasure therein which are offered by the law. Then said he, Lo, I come to do thy will, O God. He taketh away the first, that he may establish the second, by the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. And every priest standeth daily ministering and offering oftentimes the same sacrifices, which can never take away sins. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins, forever sat down on the right hand of God. From henceforth, expecting till his enemies be made his footstool. For by one offering he had perfected forever them that are sanctified. Whereof the Holy Ghost also is a witness to us. For after that he had said before, this is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their hearts and in their minds will I write them and their sins and iniquities will I remember no more. Now where remission of these is, there is no more offerings for sin. Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holy, holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way, which he had consecrated for us through the veil, that is to say his flesh, and having a having an high priest over the house of God. Let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. And may the Lord have a blessing to the reading and an understanding to his holy red word. Eternal God, our Heavenly Father, we come to thee on this second Sunday of Advent, thanking thee again for life, health, strength, and food. We thank thee, O oh God, that you, God, in this idea there's no other. We thank thee for sparing our lives to come to this place this one more time. We come, God, realizing that in this time of pandemic, that there are people out there who are dying, people who are suffering from food, from clothing, and health. But we ask, O oh God, that you make it possible to feed the hungry. How merciless and bless us. We know, O oh God, that you are able to do all things. Because you took two little fish and five loaves of bread and fed, fed a multitude. So help us, O oh God, to show compassion, to show love, and to feed the hungry on this second Sunday of Advent. Thank you. Amen. On this second Sunday in Advent, we relight the first candle to remind us of the prophecy. We also light the second candle, which represents the love which God possesses for the world and its inhabitants and manifested through the sending of his holy son to be God with us, Emmanuel. Hello, this is Brother David Ball here at Hope Chapel Amy Zion Church, here for the Advent service and the lighting of the second candle, which is love. And when I think about love, I go to John chapter 15, verse nine. Where Jesus was telling his disciples, as the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. And during this season, 
While we're spending time with each other and enjoying friends and family, we ask that the same love that God gave us, the son that he sent during this time. And we have to remember the love of a father is deep, abiding, immeasurable, and eternal. And that same love that he had for his son while they were in eternity, he thought it not robbery to send him to us for this remission and saving of our sins. And that love I ask on today, we share with each other. During this time of COVID, things have been strange. It has been a difficult year, but somehow we still pressed on. And I'm asking that even though we cannot be together as normal, and we can't sit across from the table and break bread as we used to do. I ask that we continue to show the love that God gave us. The son of the lamb that was sent here during this season. That we share with one another during these difficult times. And we see each other again when things are normal. Amen. Yeah. 